Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of Midas short video series. In Midas Civil, we have three different approaches for considering the long term section properties. Namely, the sequential analysis plus accurate time dependent material methodology. The second one, the sequential analysis plus the long term modular ratio of 3n. The third one, the composite action without sequential analysis. So, in this video, I'll be explaining in detail the sequential analysis plus long term modular ratio of 3n. Before that, let's go have a brief discussion regarding the three methods. The sequential analysis plus accurate time dependent material methodology is helpful when you want to have the construction stages along with accurate time dependent material definition. The major steps involved are to define the creep shrinkage functions in the properties tab and linking the functions using the material link to the respective material properties. The second method, the sequential analysis plus long term modular ratio of 3n. This modeling methodology is helpful when you want to have the construction stages analysis with time dependent effects considered only for composite sections through this ratio of modulus of elasticity of steel and concrete that is a modular ratio. The important steps that we have to follow will be discussed in detail later. The third modeling methodology, the composite action without sequential analysis. So this modeling methodology is helpful when you don't have construction stages defined. The long term effect consideration in the section data using modular ratio is same as that mentioned in the methodology B. The important steps are defining the long term section properties in the section properties tab and activating and deactivating the, the stiffness scale factors for each analysis using the boundary change assignment feature. Now let's get back to the second method that is the sequential analysis plus long term modular ratio of 3n. So this method is widely used in the US and most of the engineers are very much interested in knowing about this method. The major steps followed are the first step being go to the properties tab, section properties. So for the demonstration purpose, I'll be considering a very simple steel composite bridge. The sections are already defined. So click on the steel girder. Now click here, like we can see the define the composite section and check the box for multiple models of elasticity and provide the ES by EC that is the modular ratio 23.8749 I'm giving this value and click on OK. So after you click OK for the composite section definition, the software automatically generates section stiffness scale factors in discrete boundary groups that is creep to that is the boundary group provided here. These factors take into account the varying section properties for the composite sections. Now let's generate the model using the wizard structure tab steel composite bridge. I'll open an existing wizard. Let's Go to the sections, load, construction stage. Here, check on the long term boundary group. Click OK. Click on OK. Now, you can see that the model has been generated. Likewise, you can see the stiffness section, section stiffness scale factors defined for both the girders steel girder 1 and steel girder default. We can see the properties. So steel girder, you can see that the section stiffness scale factors are provided for creep 2, you can see this would be section stiffness scale factors before and after close. Now for the next step is to activating these boundary conditions that is the section stiffness scale factors in the construction stages. We from the construction stage composite section for construction stages it is clear that the composite section action starts at stage 3 2 so 
at the start of the composite action we have to activate the section stiffness scale factors so in the boundary group we can see that the creep to the section stiffness scale factors are not yet activated we can just click here click on add and click apply or else or else if we have lot of sections and different stiffness scale factors don't worry just go to composite section for construction stages and click update long term so automatically the software will be activating the stiffness scale factors in the respective construction stage that is the construction stage where the composite action starts so now for the rest of the construction stages the long term section properties will be applicable and even in the post construction stage the long term section properties will be active so apart from this i have also generated a design report here we can clearly see how the software considers the short term and long term composite section features the section properties are defined i hope this session was useful and informative stay tuned for more interesting videos in the next coming videos i'll be explaining how to consider the moving load analysis and other analysis along with the 3n method for simulate after for simulating the time dependent material properties of concrete thank you